before we jump into the next video, I would love to take this opportunity to shout out the video sponsor, Distributed. Distributed is a tech-enabled startup founded on the belief that businesses of the future will thrive without the need for technical development teams in-house. Using the distributed platform, clients can work with fully managed, globally distributed teams as easily as local teams, allowing you to build and maintain software faster, safer with more visibility than ever before. If you are in the market, follow the link in the description below and make your way over to the estimation page. Here you can submit useful project details and in as little as five minutes, get a response back on next steps. Thank you. I'm a little bit excited. One, because of the amount of beef we have before our eyes. Let me just bring it in one more time for you. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Um, Cot de Boeuf, I think is how you pronounce it. Could be bone in ribeye, ribeye with a bone. I think it's also very similar to the tomahawk. So I don't know. Um, at the end of the day, it's beef. And at the end of the day, it's going to be eaten. So you know me, guys, I've grown to love some steak. My situation is very simple. Very, very simple. So pepper, I like fine. And granulated garlic. I'm going to hit it up. I'm going to let it sit for about two to three hours. This is a very big piece of meat, as you guys can see. So the typical one hour nonsense would not work. It will just not get in, but it will just not brine further enough. We're going to do a dry brine. Um, then we're going to take it out on the grill. Hopefully you guys, I don't want to touch it because I still got to touch my, um, still got to touch my seasonings. But as you can see, um, grab it from the bone. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the marbling, guys. Tell me this piece of meat does not look nice. Look how thick it is. Look at that. Get in there. Come on. Exciting times. Exciting times, baby. Let's use the, you know, my technique. Dirty hand. Dry hand. So I'm going to pat it just to dry it up a bit. Then we'll start seasoning it. Then it's gonna sit in the fridge for about four to three to four hours. And then we'll bring it out. Then you guys are gonna meet me on the outside. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Okay, seasoning time. Um, I go in first with the salt. been about three hours I will typically do this for about 24 hours but just for the YouTube I'm gonna to try to do it a lot quicker I'm gonna bring this in so you guys get a close-up of how it looks this is literally now gonna go outside on my grill I was partly thinking I was gonna do coal but I decided to move away from the coal I'm gonna put it on my gas cooker my gas grill it's a new one so you guys will get a little review on that as well um, I'm gonna probably sear it because I've got a sear inside get this get the edges real crispy and nice then I'm gonna put it in the main grill, kind of like an oven, crank it up to a temperature that I'm interested in. I'll let you know when we're out there and let it sit till it cooks and gets about medium, medium well. Got a couple of family members that don't like medium. So I go medium to medium well. Um, it's gonna be exciting because the first time I'm showing you guys my new grill, first time I'm putting steak on a new grill as well as searing steak. So there'll be a good review. Plus I have a guest who's gonna be helping me do the taste test. So hopefully you guys love that. As always, you know how it is. Let's take this outside, vlog style. See you in a few seconds. All right, guys, you guys already know what it is. I'm about to show you guys how I take my ribeye and cook that. It's a bit sunny, can't complain. I'm loving it, you know how it is. Let's get on with this. All right, so got my barbecue ready and set up. I'm gonna flip the camera real quick. Sorry for the movement, shakiness. I'll sort that out for you all soon. Anyway, let's get straight to the point. Get this beef, get this meat on the cooker. All right, as you can see, my Nexus Deluxe Steel Grill, seven, six hobs. In reality, I think it's about seven, six main gas grills. I got rotisserie, and I got the sear. Today I'm gonna sear. Then I'm gonna pull it in here after, which will act like a cooker. 
We cook it, cook it, cook it. Let's get on with it. Okay hey guys, we're back. As you can see, it's been a journey. It hasn't been that long, um, but I have a guest on the show. My little sister, what's your name? Hey guys, I'm Precious. Project your voice, they can't hear you. Hey guys, I'm Precious. Okay, so essentially I had to put it in the oven just so that I cook it a bit more because I got a couple of people in my house who cannot eat it pink. Um, I could do medium. Sisters probably prefers well done. I'm trying to slowly transition her to me to medium well. Um, so we, as you saw, hit it with a seasoning, let it dry brown for about two to three hours, then put it outside on the sear, seared it both sides about 10, 15 minutes on each side, set about 10 minutes on each side, then put it in the grill, cooked it a bit more till it was about medium, so 70 degrees, 65, 70 degrees, and then did a couple of slices as you guys saw then popped it in the oven for these guys to get a bit more cooked anyway the moment that we all wait for the taste test so i'm gonna couple couple more slices then precious here is going to give us some advice on what she thinks it's actually her first time having steak mm -hmm. so she's having a pretty prime cut she's starting pretty well all right so let's get it, this going i don't think you like the, the fat pieces precious mm -hmm. so but the fat pieces are actually awesome because they Give you a bit of je ne sais quoi, as April's mom says. <laughs> April being my wife. Okay, so already got some pre-cut slices here, which are essentially well done. Um, you want to try? I'll try. <laughs> what do you think? So, doing the taste test, it's your first time having steak. We're looking at things that are like tender, mm -hmm. how much do you have to chew it to mm -hmm. get through it, mm -hmm. flavor, mm -hmm. um, what do you, what kind of hints do you get, um, and overall, it's your first time having steaks, so you're probably not going to have any other references, but I will, you would then say, is it better than a sirloin, is it better than so on and so forth, this particular cut is technically a ribeye. So, what do you think? Um, it was very soft, like it wasn't hard for me to chew through, it was okay. actually quite pleasant in the mouth, like... It oh. wasn't like too much seasoning, or mm. like too less. It wasn't that bland. So it was what like, flavors were you getting? Like you know your AP rub. The AP rub was there. Like mm. it was like seeped through the meat. Like it okay. wasn't just like on the top and then the inside was dry. <laughs> You're getting it in. <laughs> no. Okay. Like it had a nice feel. And what about the, the herbs? Did you get a touch of the herbs? No, I didn't actually. But I feel like I'm getting a touch of the herbs. Try that again. Um, because what I did is when I said said. Put it in the oven. I put the herbs under it with butter, and I sat it on top of the herbs, and I cooked it through one time. Cooked it through one time. Herbs are thyme, 
and rosemary. I get them. With that slice, I could taste it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. No, Let's take um, a more freshly cut slice. Now, let's go here. I'm going to try to use my beloved knife set. Okie dokie. Now again, I don't know what Precious thinks, but this is technically considered medium. Mm -hmm. Now Precious still feels nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Precious still feels nervous. Let me bring it in for you. That's technically still medium, but my sister is a bit nervous. So I'll try it. I'll try it. I think you should try it and compare, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to get a medium mm -hmm. and we're going to get a well done. Yeah. Mm, the flavors are too much, baby. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, so this is well done. Yeah. As you know, this is medium as well. Took the wrong cup. So let's try this on you because it's a bit more, a little bit less pink in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to get a, a well done one. And then you're going to tell me what you think. Now, technically, what they say is you don't want to cook it too much because the more you cook it, the less moisture you, you lose mm -hmm. and then the less softness that you lose. So again, well done. Give that a try. I'll give that a try as well. Taste everything, get, get an idea of the tender, how much is it in the center, how much of the seasoning got to the core. Hmm? Can do this all day, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? And now she's going from medium. I'm scared, okay. Don't worry, mom's not here, so she can't kill us. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this is medium. Medium being a little bit pink in the center, right? It's cool. It's actually cooked. I don't right. know why you're scared. You can't taste blood. It's not actual blood. Okay. What do you think? Honestly. If you can't do it, yeah, you can't yeah, do it. Yeah, I felt like I like the medium right now. Now that I've tasted it, it's actually quite nice. Um, now guys I like thought, go I thought it would be very Louder. mushy. I thought it would be very mushy, but now that I've tasted it, like as Windsor said, it is yeah. nice and cooked well. Yeah. Um, I feel like the, as I bite into the middle bit, the flavours seep out more. Exactly, because it's more moist. Yeah. Now, if you look at the medium, you can see how a lot more moist it is, right? Because yeah. a lot of people are like, oh, that's blood. That's mm. not blood. And then you look at the, the well-done one. First of all, it's a lot drier. Yeah. So look at the look at the sides. Look at that. A lot more dry yeah. compared to this one. Look how, look how much juice is still in this. Mm. So you can try that one. I'll try this one. I'll try that again. And I'll try this one. So again, we're going in with the medium. It's cooked. A lot of people think it's not cooked, especially us black people. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to say it. But yeah, guys, as you can see, first of all, I think I've got a great host, a great guest. She's done well with explaining to you guys what she thinks. And she hasn't been pre-primed. Pre it's all honesty, right? Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, we've got the rest of the people here that want to have a tuck at this. Yeah. First time cooking cut the ball. Cut the bow, rib, bone and rib, and the idea here is to just keep trying different types of cuts and giving comparisons. There's a lot of steak here, so and there's a lot of people here, so we're gonna make it happen and make it going. As always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Precious, you wanna say anything? Um, I will be starting the YouTube channel soon, so make sure you guys hit that up. And yeah. Well, what's your YouTube channel called? Oh, it's gonna be called Pre-X Room. Me and my best friend are starting a YouTube channel and we'll be posting different types of videos with different types of content and yeah. I'll let you guys know when that happens. I'll try my best to bring her back. Sorry guys, I gotta go, the meat is just too good. <laughs> Over and out.